Today, we're talking about lighting, especially on this 100.3 Platinum build that we're doing. And Ecotech has been very generous in sending us this XR15 light, the mounts, and the diffuser plates. Let's take a closer look. The Gen 4 is a great, great light. Let's see what's in the box, guys. Looks like there's the setup guide, power cords. It's like a little cloth to wipe it down some mounting bolts, power supply, USB cord, and the light itself. Really, really great looking fixture. It's got eight different colors on this light that are fully customizable. It's got a uh, cooling system on there that is a quiet active cooling design and the fan only kicks on when it's actually needed, so it helps keep it real quiet on the operation. It's got 95 watts, it's seven inches by seven inches, really, really great light. Next, we've got the tank mount. Let's take a closer look. The RMS tank mount system is really unique. It's got a sliding rail that the light can move to the front or back of the aquarium. You can also mount your lights either direction. Ecotech also sent us these cool diffuser plates that they just came out with. Really, really neat design. It improves the color mixing, reduces par only by 25%, but still provides that shimmer effect that we all love on the bottom of our aquariums. First things we're gonna do is assemble the mounting bracket. Is what we've done is we've actually laid it all out here in front of us. You can see here behind me, it's very important when we install the light that the light sits directly in the middle of the aquarium. We don't want the light to kind of cascade out from the sides, so we kind of positioned it right here in the middle. You'll see this arm right here. This is actually the long extension that Ecotech gives you. They give you two options, a short one and a long one. For the 100.3, because it's a 24 inch deep tank, we went with the long extension so that this light fits perfectly right down the middle. First, take the actual light mount itself and take the long extension, and these two are gonna to marry together ever so slightly. They slide right in there. I'm gonna flip it over, and you'll see the two holes there. We're gonna put the screws right in there and make sure they have large screws and small screws. We're gonna take the two small ones and put them right inside there. Next, you'll see that the bracket has a spacer. So you're gonna go ahead and adjust this for the width of the tank. This is a spacer that is removable, but we're gonna leave this in for the water box. because it does. Before we mount the light onto the mounting arm, we're gonna to decide to go ahead and add the diffuser plate to the light itself while we've got it down. So it's simply we're gonna remove the four screws that are on the bottom of the light itself and the bracket that comes with the diffuser is magnetic. So we're gonna add this to the light, and that way the magnet clips right on for easy assembly. Now we're gonna install the bracket, just like that, to the light. Make sure the buttons are facing the front. want to make sure that also our cords management will run through the channels in the bracket. Now that we've assembled the light to the main bracket itself, it's time to mount the arm to the back of the tent. Let's go. Loosen this bolt up a little bit so that we can slide the arm right onto that. Mm -hmm. 
now that we've installed both lights, we plugged them in, man, these things are bright. But we aren't gonna set the controllers yet with the EcoSmart Live platform. The EcoSmart Live platform actually allows you to set the on off, control the colors, a lot, a lot of features on there. Also controls the pumps as well, but we're not ready for that until next time.